Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to redirect things like your downloads or possibly your images, photos, all that kind of stuff on your computer, which normally you would end up storing on your fast NVMe or SSD storage on your main system drive, which is the C drive. But possibly you might find it more beneficial and actually more cost effective in the long run to back it up to possibly an external drive or maybe even a shared folder or another drive letter on your PC. So let's move over to the computer now and take a look and see how it can potentially benefit your system and also your storage by diverting your user folders. Okay, so we're on our main PC here and we've got our local C drive, which is one full drive, so that's our C drive. So that is where our files are currently stored. So things like your downloads, documents, pictures, music, and videos. Now, potentially you might have another drive listed. So if you've got multiple drives in your computer, you may have a, a D drive, an E drive, or whatever you've named it to. So if you wanted to, you can actually relocate these folders into that location. So normally your C drive is gonna be your fastest drive and also the one that probably fills up the most. If you've bought yourself something like a laptop or a relatively cheap PC, you may find you've only got a 128 gig or 256 gig main C drive, which can get really bloated if you've got all of your documents and downloads and pictures in it. So how do we remedy this? So what we can do, if we open up our C drive and in this top section here, so type in percentage, then home path, and then another percentage sign and press enter. And you'll find all of the items which are in your home path. So again, desktop, documents, downloads, favorites, etc etc onedrive pictures all these kinds of things so the ones that have got an icon these are the ones which are your kind of your main user profile ones so say for instance in this particular instance i actually want my downloads to go to my nas which is an external drive rather than going onto my c drive this is really easy to do all we need to do is to right click on downloads go down to properties go down to location and this is where this is currently being stored so it's in my C drive, users, my username, and then the downloads folder. So let's actually move that. So if we click on move, and now we'll need to select where we want it to actually go. So I'm actually gonna put this on my network, and we'll go into our NAS, and I'm gonna choose the downloads folder which I've created on my NAS. Now of course, in your instance, you may want to choose a different drive letter or a shared folder on the network somewhere. Choice is up to you, doesn't really make much difference, you probably want to name the folder so you know exactly what it is. So I'm going to choose this one here and we'll choose select folder. So now we can click on the apply button. So now we're going to get this message coming up saying move folder. Do you want to move all the files from the old location to the new location? Showing you the old location and also the new location, just to confirm. We recommend removing all the files so programs needing access to the folder's content can do so. Again, entirely up to you. I'm going to choose yes because I want my downloads folder and its contents removed onto our NAS drive, so I'm gonna click yes. And that is effectively it. It's gonna now transfer over our documents. We've got a pretty decent network connection here, so it shouldn't take too long at all. And we've got around about four gigs of things actually in our downloads folder, which obviously is gonna give us around about four or five gigs back of our main C drive, which is awesome. So now that's done, we can close down Explorer. And now if we go into our computer, go into downloads, We've still got all the same folders and files there and also got a drivers folder. So if we take a look at this file, for instance, and choose the properties, we can see the location is now moved onto our NAS. So that's excellent news. And of course, this is gonna work with things like your browsers, etc. So if we wanna download some drivers, for instance, so I'm gonna click on download for this new chipset driver, which I'll be installing later. And first of all, your Windows always remembers the last location that you actually downloaded to, which was our desktop which I quite often use. So instead of doing that, we're gonna choose our downloads folder because that's where we want everything to go from now on. This can change, so whenever you click on download, you can change the location, but just to memorize it this time, we're gonna choose our downloads folder, click on save, and that is pretty much it. You can see it up the top there. If we look at our downloads, and there we go. So that's done very quickly, it's downloaded. It will be slightly slower than it would be from your physical drives on your computer, but you do gain the storage back, which is excellent. So there we go, that is how to redirect your folders. Of course, if you wanna do any of the other ones, you can do the same principle. So if you wanted to do pictures, for instance, again, just highlight it, right click on it, 
choose properties, choose location, and decide where you want it to go. So you can click on the move button, choose a new location, and select a folder. This is exactly the same thing, so you can do that. There are some folders I would suggest not move in. Your desktop, for one, because that if for some reason the drive isn't ready or isn't connected, it could slow down your system. But certainly for things like your documents, pictures, music, and videos, it's absolutely fine. Again, downloads we've already done, so yeah, any of those should be fine. Just desktop, I would strongly suggest against doing. Anyway, there you go. There is how to redirect your downloads folder to another drive. So again, external drive, a drive on your NAS, or maybe another hard disk drive actually inside your computer. If you've got multiple drives, the choice is pretty much endless depending on your own configurations. And actually let me know in the comment section, what do you do with your downloads? Do you just download them to your desktop or to the downloads folder and just keep them indefinitely? Or, or are you pretty good on that sort of thing and you actually try and keep your system nice and clean and delete things after you've done them? I know a lot of people don't. I, certainly are guilty of it from time to time. Anyway, I've waffled on for way too long. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.